Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Martinez Corta to review. A nice little cheeky Serie A right back, which to be honest, I think I actually need right backs on my review account. So I don't mind this SBC being else, to be fair, uh, because he looks pretty decent, to be honest with you, right? Because look, the way that he's formatted, he's five star skills, four star weak foot. He's a high medium work rated player, a lean body type with great dribbling stats. So with a card like this, there's a lot of potential when it comes to um, attacking and defensive capabilities, because with this card, guys, you know, I think that most people would definitely play him in the fullback position in the game nowadays, because with the anchor chemistry style, you'll have acceleration, sprint speed, your defense is gonna be in a fantastic area, and then your physical is also gonna be in a fantastic area too. But let's say, for instance, you are playing a three-back formation, and this guy is the more defensive-minded right mid, right? You know, there's right mid, left mid. Sometimes you tell him to be more aggressive, depending on if they're the attacking one. You could totally use this card in that area because the fact that he's six foot tall, the lean body type, the fact that he can dribble to build up the play um, is something to obviously take into consideration because high medium work rates, he got uh, 95 stamina physicals being increased like crazy so it definitely looks like a pretty solid um card we'll see what the sbc price is at the end but yes he is going to be working with perfect pace he has some shooting capabilities in-game player traits he has long passes so nothing too crazy special there but has passing stats that are good enough for this game uh the dribbling being in the 90s with the lean body type is very important even though he's a six foot tall player and then obviously defense and physical um in a very very solid position so uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and complete this card. I think the way that we're going to test him out is, you know, attacking and defensive presence, like for the most part, right? Because we'll see what his dribbling and stuff is like, because sometimes you feel the dribbling in game and you're like, you know what? This is not really a card I would actually use in a midfield setup, right? So we're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and complete him and I'll show you guys how we line him up. Okay, guys. Uh, so we just finished unlocking him. Not too expensive. I think he's like 100K. It's not, uh, not a super expensive card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give him the anchor. There we go. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Three, five, two, three, four, one, two. We'll do the three, four, one, two. Mm, no. We're going to do the three, five, two. Because the three, five, two has one of the guys on balance, which is this guy. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Uh, Felipe, the yeah, I'm okay with this. I am a okay with this. Pellegrini, Pellegrini will put here. Yeah, instructions will be balanced so that way we can test him out on the attack and defense. Okay, cool. Let's try him out. Nice first time pass. Oh, wow. Actually, almost scored there with him. Oh, wow, that scoop turn was he not heavy, but like he really went upwards there. That was kind of crazy. I kind of want to go like directly in. Oh, there he is defensively. Oh, nice try. A little interception quick on the ball too there. Nice try again. The shooting's not coming off too bad. These aren't even greens, eh? Here he is in the midfield. Pretty quick to track back there. Oh, we hit the crossbar. It was a good pass, though, to kind of open up the play a little bit. It was a good interception. I'm passing it to him because I'm a doom doom. I mean, listen, we lost the ball like an idiot there, right? But you can see that his track back is perfectly fine. So if you actually want to play this card in the midfield, you technically could. Nice, we'll take that. That's me trying out some dumb things with him. Not bad. Far distance, long shots, still pretty decent. It's not like super flimsy, you know? 
You can see that he's the one that actually kind of went into that um, fullback position defensively there. Take that interception. Oh, little, little flickety flicks. I'm going to try him out on the center back position now, being rotated into that area. So he can play midfield. There are going to be like better meta options, to be fair. Like it's one of those things where it's like if your team is set up this way where you can switch to a three back in game and you're using like a different type of formation, it's just one of the options that you do have, right? But it is a card that I do mainly see being played in the actual right back position, a card that gives you a little bit of an agile feel in the defensive position. Like that's going to be like the main thing with him for sure. Because even if you're in a position like over here and you just do an L1 and then an elastico to open up the space, like people do that, you know? Get it? Yes. Still good. You guys have to understand when you do like the first touch, like players just do like an emphasis that you, you don't want, but they kind of just do it sometimes. You got to be careful of those. Always good to go for like first time passes to kind of avoid that too. Yeah, I want to give him a little bit of commitment there. Kind of test out the running. It does have a little bit of a strange running animation. It's a little weird. I'm not going to say it's not. Nice little weak foot pass. Yeah, those are the moments you want to test. It's like the turns and stuff, you know? See if the AI kind of like tracks back quick enough there. He definitely actually feels like a stay back right back so far. That's what I will say about him. Real quick switch there. Oh, I try to work him with the skill moves a little bit, but he's no work. He's no work. A little cheeky chest, okay. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Ah. Tracking is perfectly fine in those situations. Like, I've counted three different times where he's, like, in line with my center back when they're attacking me, so. I'll take a cheeky interception there. A little bait for the penalty. Maybe he'll dash forward before I get to take it. Yep. That one was perfectly fine, actually. Keep it in. Good. It's funny because like I was going to do a ball roll, but if I'm, I was like, yo, if I do a ball roll, the 45 degree outwards is going to happen. So no chance. We'll take that. We'll take that. From the right back position too, eh? <laughs> it's a good thing we did the ball roll, eh? Let's see. What penalties does my man have? Not even at the top. He has a 79. You're going to go left side? Go left side, bro. Do it. No. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Martinez Corta card. So uh, with fullbacks, there's not really much you have to see. Uh, there's like a few things here and there. Uh, to be honest with you guys, the card's pretty decent in game. Uh, with cards like this, 
uh, it's very important that as an SPC EA release cards that, you know, have like the five star skills, four star weak foe. We're at the point in the game where we need to have fun and they need to have these types of things to be able to, you know, score some opportunities from time to time. So with this card, guys, I do feel like he is mostly a player that's going to be used as a stay back while attacking uh, fullback because of the way that his body type works with his dribbling and stuff. It's honestly perfectly fine to work with. It's a pretty solid card and it gives you some really interesting links, right? Because the main links that I see this card being linked to is going to be to the Paulo Dybala card, right? So obviously you switch right back, uh, you switch Dybala to a center mid, you get the link up that way. Um, other link ups, if you still have the Lautaro card, if you guys still use those guys, you can do that too. Uh, let's see what else is here. I think that's like pretty much it. Unsaldi, I'm not even joking. If you guys were to use Unsaldi nowadays, he's probably still a monster. This guy was just a beast. I'm pretty sure he has medium high. That's why he's so good for the meta. Yeah, this guy, this guy's a monster. Like him, him and a villa, you could still use nowadays, honestly. Like they're so good. Um Yeah, I would say those are like the main guys. The rest of these guys are pretty fodder for the most part. You could use a Pereira card, but that's way, way, way long ago. Yeah. So it's mostly if you want to link up to Dybala, I would say. Dybala does currently already have Quadrado. So that's actually very interesting because let's take a look at the right backs in this league. So first off, we're going to go to Argentina, right? We're going to search that first. Okay, so by default, he is the best right back that plays for Argentina, which is great. Um, if you need those types of link ups, obviously. But now I want to see the Serie A because the only one I could think of right now is Quadrado, who's pretty decent but lacks in physical capabilities, right? Um, Di Lorenzo's pretty decent, but he gives you Napoli Italy links, which is different. Yeah, I don't see anything too crazy here. So it's a good SPC because the only right back that they have is Quadrado. And this card has a four star weak foot on top of it. But he'll, this Quadrado card will feel more agile, but will probably lack in physical a little bit more, you know, because Quadrado is five foot ten lean body type, while the other card's six foot. So that extra added height uh, is going to be very helpful, of course. So it's not a terrible SBC to be honest, especially if you're if you're working with those types of teams. I'm not completely against the price, 113k, considering Quadrado's there. I'm not I'm not completely against, especially for those link ups if you want in the future. Fiorentina. You know what I'm thinking of? Like, maybe they do, like, a really nice Luka Jovic card if he gets transferred on permanent basis. So that is something to consider, too. If they actually make, like, a, a special card for him if you guys are, like, a fan or something, right? So, um, yeah, not completely against the SPC. Nothing crazy special. Definitely not on the level of, like, a Theo Hernandez or a Cancelo card or anything like that. But he's still pretty solid for the meta of the game. Still very, very solid. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.